In this video, we're going to talk about how to graph ordered pairs, how to plot points on a coordinate plane, and also how to determine the domain and range of a set of ordered pairs, and if we're given a relation in the form of a table or even as a graph. So let's go ahead and begin. First, we need to know what exactly is a coordinate system and what it's used for. A coordinate system is used to locate points, and it is formed by the intersection of two number lines, the x-axis and the y-axis. The horizontal line is known as the x-axis. The vertical line is known as the y-axis. And there's numbers on each of these lines. They intersect at their zero points. So this is zero here. This point is known as the origin. And it's zero, zero. So this is a coordinate system. Now let's say if we want to plot point A. And point A is located at 2 comma 3. The first number is the x coordinate and the second number is the y coordinate. So to plot it we need to locate 2 on the x-axis and then we need to locate 3 on the y-axis. So here's 2 on the x-axis and here's 3. Therefore, point A is going to be at that location. So here it is. Now let's try a few more examples. Go ahead and plot point B and let's say it's located at 4, 1 and plot point C which is located at 3, 2. So the x value is 4 and the y value is 1. So here we have an x value of 4 and a y value of 1. Therefore they should meet at that point. So this is going to be point B. Now to plot point C we need to locate an x value of 3 and a y value of 2 which corresponds to this point. That's where they intersect. And so that's going to be point C. And so that's how you can plot a set of ordered pairs on a graph or on a coordinate plane. And these are ordered pairs, by the way. You have an x coordinate and a y coordinate. Now let's try some more examples. Go ahead and plot the following points. 3 comma 4, negative 2, 3, negative 4, negative 2, and 3, negative 3. So feel free to pause the video as you uh, plot those points. So this is positive 4, and over here we're going to have negative 4. So let's start with 3, 4. So here's an x value of 3, here's a y value of 4. They're going to meet at that point. So right here is 3, 4. It's in the first quadrant, and that's going to be point A. Next, let's plot point B, which is at negative 2, 3. Point B is in quadrant 2. And then let's plot point C, which is at negative 4, negative 2. Point C is in quadrant 3. And after that we have 3, comma, negative 3, which is right here. And that's in quadrant 4. And so now you know how to graph ordered pairs on a coordinate plate. Now the next thing that you need to be able to do is to identify 
the points that are found on a coordinate point. So I'm going to give you three points, and I want you to write the coordinates of these three points. So here's the first one. We're going to call that point A. And here's the second one. Let's call this point C. And the last one is going to be over here. Let's call it point B. So go ahead and find the x and y coordinates of those points. So let's start with the first ordered pair, point A. Point A has an x value of 2 and a y value of 1, so it's 2 comma 1. Next we have point B. Point B has an x value of 3 and it has a y value of 4, so it's 3 comma 4. Next, let's move on to point C, which has an x value of 4, and it has a y value of 2. And so, that's it. That's how you can identify an ordered pair if you're given a graph. Now, the next thing that we need to talk about is a relation. A relation is basically a set of ordered pairs. So let's say if we have the ordered pairs, negative 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 5, and 4, 7. So all four of those ordered pairs combined comprises a relation. Now you need to be able to determine the domain and a range. The domain of the relation is basically the set of all the x values or all of the x coordinates. So the x coordinates that we have are negative 2, 1, 2, and 4. So therefore that's going to represent the domain. So it's negative 2, 1, 2, and 4. Now what about the range? The range represents all of the y-coordinates. The y-coordinates being 3, 2, 5, and 7. But now let's put the y-values in ascending order. So the lowest value is 2, and then we have 3, 5, and 7. So that's the range, which correlates to all of the y-values. Now, if you don't want to put it in, um, excuse me, in ascendant order, you can write it the same way exactly as uh, you saw it. So, for example, you could write it as 3, 2, 5, 7. So, you could write it that way if you want to. A relation can also be represented in the form of a table. So, consider this table with the following points. you can convert a table into a set of ordered pairs. So the first ordered pair is 2 comma 4. The second is negative 3 comma 5. The third is 1 comma 3. And the fourth is 4 comma 6. Now, to find the domain, which I'm going to use the letter D to represent uh, the domain, the domain is just all of the x values, which we could see here. So it's going to be negative 2, I mean, not negative 2, but rather positive 2, and then negative 3, 1, and 4. So that's the domain. The range represents all of the y coordinates, which we can clearly see it on the second column of the table. And that's going to be 4, 5, 3, and 6. So that's how you can find the domain and range of a relation when it's expressed in the form of a table. Now, the last thing is you need to find it if it's expressed in the form of a graph. So 
So let's say if we have this point, that's the first point, and here is the second point, and here's the third. Go ahead and find the domain and range of this graph. So the domain is all of the x values. We have an x value at 2, 3, and 4. This one's at 2, this one's at 3, and that one's at 4. Now for the range, we need to write the y values. So this point has a y value of 1, this one has a y value of 2, and this one has a y value of 3. So the range is uh, 1, 2, 3. And so that's how you can easily determine the domain and range of a set of points given the graph. And if you need to convert these points into an ordered pair, you know how to do it. But let's just go ahead and do this one, and then we'll turn it into a table. So let's call this point A, B, and C. So point A is located at 2 comma 1. It has an x value of 2 and a y value of 1. Point B has an x value of 4 and a y value of 2. So this is point B. It's 4 comma 2. And point C has an x value of 3 and a y value of 3. So if we wish to express this as a table, we can write it like this. So the first one is 2, 1. Next, I'm going to write point C, which is 3, 3, and then point B, which is 4, 2. So as you can see, the domain is 2, 3, 4, and the range is 1, 3, 2, or 1, 2, 3.